Pejman Nozat's story is nothing short of extraordinary, layered with a type of grit and grind that legends are made of. Born in the heart of Tehran, the capital of Iran, he was no stranger to the chaos and upheaval that war brought with it. The backdrop of the devastating Iran-Iraq war wasn't just a historical footnote for young Nozad, it was the dark canvas of his childhood. These formative years full of strife and conflict might have broken a lesser spirit, but for Pejman, they became the crucible that forged his indomitable will. It instilled in him a sense of urgency, a belief that there was more to life than just surviving. It was this fire in his belly that pushed him to leave everything familiar behind and head for the gleaming shores of the United States. Touching down in Silicon Valley, he had less than $1,000 in his pocket, a paltry sum by any standard. But what he lacked in material wealth, he made up for in ambition, hope, and an unyielding spirit. The valley, buzzing with innovation and opportunity, was about to meet its most tenacious newcomer. And while the tech world didn't know it yet, they were about to witness the rise of an icon in the making. This is the unbelievable story of the Iranian immigrant who made a $50 million fortune selling rugs in Silicon Valley. Well, coming up tomorrow throughout the southeastern United States, another great day, but you better get... Silicon Valley in the 90s was a landscape brimming with promise. Dreams met innovation, and the future was being coded in real time. Yes, tech giants rose from the dorm rooms and garages, Pejman Nozat's first steps in this land of opportunity took him to a different kind of floor. The plush carpets and intricate tapestries of a rug gallery. Medallion Rug Gallery owned by Amir Amidi, wasn't just any rug store. It was a haven for the rich and the elite of Palo Alto, showcasing artifacts that were as much pieces of art as they were household items. It was here that Pejman found his first job sweeping the floors. But the ambitious Iranian immigrant saw beyond the dust and the woven patterns. He saw a tapestry of connections, relationships, and opportunities. As he meticulously cleaned and curated, he observed, learned, and listened. The gallery wasn't just a place of business, it was a nexus of networking. Silicon Valley's bigwigs, from venture capitalists to tech CEOs, often strolled through its corridors, admiring its wares, discussing deals, and inadvertently sowing the seeds of Pejman's future endeavors. In entrepreneurs, VCs, you know, used to go to elegant, polished offices at Sandhill Road. They were coming to to the rug gallery. So he's like, "Okay, come to our office. Here's my business card." Yeah, we get down there, and I'm like, "Medallion Rug Gallery." I'm like, "Not, nah, we're late, and we're not even at the right place." And so we go in there. We're like, "Hey, is Pejman here?" And you know, you look in the shop. It's just like people looking at rugs. And she's like, "Oh, Pejman, sure, yeah, come with me." And of course, Palo Alto University Ave. The rug shop has a back room with a projector and a startup kind of pitch room, boardroom. The rug business was more than just selling carpets. It was about understanding people, their desires, and their visions. A good rug is an investment, just like a startup. And Pejman was about to intertwine the two worlds in a way no one had ever imagined. While the core business at Medallion Rug Gallery revolved around hand-knotted treasures from the East, Pejman's true genius lay in weaving a tapestry of human connections. I built an amazing network of incredible people that typically it takes people to get an appointment with them in a year. I could have called them, go to their home because I had dinner with them two months ago with their family selling carpet. So this relationship was just really, really important. Conversations that started over intricate Persian designs soon evolved into discussions about innovative tech prototypes and venture capital. Pejman's role began to shift from rug seller to matchmaker. He saw potential where others didn't. That entrepreneur with a game-changing idea but no backing? Well, Pejman knew a venture capitalist who had walked into the store just last week, and that investor was looking for the next big thing. The rug gallery transformed into a discreet epicenter for deals, partnerships, and dreams. It was a unique intersection of old world artistry and new world innovation. 
and the heart of it was Pejman Nozad, the erstwhile floor sweeper turned power broker, the one who understood that the right investment could change not just a life, but the world. Behind every innovative startup lies a story, and Pejman had an uncanny ability to find those narratives. It wasn't about just pumping money into promising projects, he believed in mentorship, in cultivating relationships, and in understanding the essence of each business he got involved in. This wasn't your typical Silicon Valley strategy, but Pejman was anything but typical. He never forgot his roots, or the lessons of perseverance and resilience he learned as an immigrant. In fact, those experiences became invaluable as he navigated the unpredictable waters of venture capitalism. Failures, like successes, were seen not as endpoints, but as valuable learning opportunities. Among his renowned investments were startups like Dropbox and Lending Club, but beyond the successful exits and immense profits lay stories of trust Founders who were mentored by Pejman often recounted his genuine belief in their vision. Even when the odds seemed stacked against them, it was this unwavering faith and hands-on approach that set him apart in an industry dominated by number crunchers and detached investors. Pejman was not just investing in companies, he was investing in dreams, in visions, and most importantly, in people. The rug store had taught him that the real value lay not in the product, but in the stories and the souls behind them. Silicon Valley was about to witness the rise of a venture capitalist with a heart. He created Pejman Labs, an initiative that served as a beacon for aspiring innovators, offering them guidance, resources, and a pathway to turn their dreams into reality. And with all his success, he remained grounded. Those who knew him closely often remarked about his humility, his dedication to family, his unwavering commitment to giving back. He was a testament to the fact that success wasn't just about the money or the accolades, it was about the difference one could make in the lives of others. As the years rolled on, the story of Pejman Nozad became a staple in Silicon Valley's lore. Here was a man whose life was the epitome of the American dream from modest beginnings in a foreign land to the epicenter of global innovation. His journey wasn't just about achieving success, it was about embracing challenges, persisting through hardships, and always believing in yourself. But what truly set Pejman apart wasn't just his knack for identifying the next big thing, but his genuine commitment to people. Many of Silicon Valley's most influential figures can trace back a pivotal moment in their careers to a conversation with Pejman. Whether it was advice on a business decision, insights into market trends, or simply encouragement during tough times, Pejman had an uncanny ability to inspire and to motivate. Beyond Silicon Valley, his story resonated with immigrants worldwide. Pejman Nozad was living proof that regardless of where you come from, with determination and hard work, any dream is achievable. His tale serves as a beacon of hope to countless individuals trying to navigate their own paths in unfamiliar territories. In the end, the story of Pejman Nozad isn't just about business successes or investment masterstrokes. It's about the human spirit, the pursuit of dreams against all odds, and the profound impact one person can have on the world and the people around them. It is a tale of inspiration, perseverance, and an enduring legacy that will continue to motivate generations to come.